Hi guys, I'm back. Um, I've just, I wasn't going to make a video today, but it looks like I am. Uh, I've headed up to the north coast of Cornwall and I've got my medium format and my large format with me. I've been here before shooting medium format and yeah, I had some great results. Maybe I, if I'm clever enough, I'll put a link to that video. Uh, but I've had it in my head for a long time now to come here and shoot large format. I've also had it in my head to shoot here at night. I'd love a full moon. Uh, we've got half a moon, so I don't know what I'm going to end up with. Um, going to sleep here tonight or maybe end up on Bod Bodmin Moor tonight uh, for the sunrise tomorrow morning. I don't think there's going to be a whole pile of photos. If I come away with six sheets of film exposed, um, and three good ones, I'll be happy. So um, let's see how this rolls. Eh? It's always nice just to get one shot in the bag. At least I don't go completely empty handed home, you know, if things go all wrong. And uh, I just found a shot straight away. It's the rock formations that I've driven here for. That is exactly why I'm here. Um, oh, they're just stunning, stunning rock formations. This is what I love, this kind of thing. If I could get stuff that looks like this at night and get some of the um, tones and vibes I've managed to get from night four or five, then um, I'll definitely be happy. Yeah, so glad I came. I was on the fence about coming up today. I just shot this one here. I had no time to um, do any of this YouTube stuff. <laughs> uh, the light's been changing and um, don't know. Uh, I've, I've been wandering around everywhere and I found so many compositions, um, but it's so slow with the four five. Um, in hindsight, what I should have done was come here with the Hasselblad and just blasted a roll off. I'd have had a lot of fun, to be honest with you. I found the uh, large format rather frustrating and it's very hard work clunking around over all these rocks with it. I dropped a 90mm lens and broke one recently, so I am quite cautious. Uh, yeah, um, but nonetheless, the tones in this should be nice. I just shot one uh, um, F32 quarter of a second and then F32 one second with an orange filter on it. Um, I've got this thing where every, everywhere I go, things are looking better through the viewfinder app than they are through the glass, which is uh, somewhat frustrating. But anyway, uh, at least I'm not gonna go home empty handed. And I'm not going home yet. Welcome to my old van. Uh, you know, I've had this VWT5 for about 15 years now. It's got over 200,000 on the clock. It had 30 when I bought it. It's been just a, a workhorse for me. Still going strong. Um, yeah, yeah, I love this old van. Can't afford to sell it anyway, or can't afford to buy another one. Um, I've just been outside and uh, had a little poke around and just waiting for it to go fully dark magical out there but also icy icy cold that's going to be the challenge tonight is how long i can stand next to a camera for uh, i haven't figured out what my exposures will be I'm, i guess i'm probably looking at the 40 40 minute exposure kind of zone um yeah so i'll probably end up pacing around a lot keeping warm yeah it might even be a one-shot wonder tonight enjoying the view <laughs> It's so dark. Anyway, so this is going to be shot one. Uh, whether it's in, well, I think it's in focus actually. Um, positionally, really hard to tell. I am shooting in the dark. Um, that's one nice thing with the um, large format cameras. You have a bubble on top, you have a spirit level. I really must get a spirit level for my Hasselblad for this kind of stuff. 
Uh, I'm going to go for the good old 40 minutes F8. Might even stretch to an hour if I'm not freezing to death. And I'll probably flash uh, the foreground a little bit with my torch just to give it a head start. Maybe 20 seconds of torching. Fingers crossed. Well, that's it, we're finished. That was 40 minutes and 30 minutes, both F8. And look how close the water is, look. It's time to run. Just taking this one here quickly. Well, there's no such thing as quickly today. Quite the story, actually. I tried to leave. I've been here for hours, decided to leave. And it was so cold last night that I actually couldn't get up the hill. I got stuck on a bend, slid back on the ice and then got wedged up against a bush. Um, I managed to rescue myself. Um, so I've come back to the beach. I'm just killing time, letting the sun come up so I can go home. I'm uh, stuck here. So anyway, I just like, and the funny thing is with this one is I saw this composition first thing this morning and then I couldn't find it. I probably must have spent half an hour looking for this and I gave up. Anyway, let's just take this F45 one second, I think it is. Just double check. F45 one second. Yes. Yeah. 